Lokomotiv Moscow boss Gizdal quits club in response to Russia's war on Ukraine. Lokomotiv Moscow boss Marcus Gizdal has resigned from his position with immediate effect after Russia launched war on Ukraine with an invasion. The German coach was only appointed in the Russian capital in October, when current Manchester United interim boss Ralph Rangnick helped oversee his move to the club. The 52-year-old oversaw just 12 matches in charge of Lokomotiv Moscow, but he has now walked away from his role due to non-sporting reasons. Gisdal has said in a statement to German media outlet Bild that I cannot pursue my calling in a country whose leader is responsible for a war of aggression. The German has over two decades of experience in football coaching, but his spell at Lokomotiv was his first role outside of his home nation in the sport. Gisdal confirmed his exit in a statement to Bild, for me, football coaching is the best job in the world. But I cannot pursue my calling in a country whose leader is responsible for a war of aggression in the middle of Europe. That is not in line with my values, which is why I have resigned from my position as coach of Lokomotiv Moscow with immediate effect. I can't stand on the training ground in Moscow, train the players, demand professionalism and a few kilometers away orders are given that bring great suffering to an entire people. That is my personal decision, and I am absolutely convinced of it. Gisdal has been a prominent name in German coaching circles over the past decade with a series of roles across clubs in the top divisions in the nation. He spent two years at the helm of Hoffenheim between 2013 and 2015, initially impressing by helping steer the club clear of relegation in the Bundesliga. Gisdal went on to have similar spells at Hamburger, whom he helped to avoid relegation in Germany's top flight, and then at Köln, where he repeated the trick. He left Köln in April last year and was hired as the new coach of Russian giants Lokomotiv Moscow in October, with his arrival, influenced by his fellow countryman Rangnick, who held an off-field role at the club. Lokomotiv's results on the pitch were not particularly impressive under Gisdal, as they won just three of his 12 matches at the helm, losing half of those matches. Yet the manner of his exit is notable and continues the football-related fallout of Russia's invasion of the Ukraine, following on from all clubs in Russia, being banned from FIFA and UEFA matches. That ensured that Lokomotiv's city rival Spartak Moscow were eliminated from this season's Europa League, where they were competing in the round of 16.